I just heard the Mad Child disc from Snack the Ripper, and I tell you, it's it's straight fire. I I admit that. Oh, <laughs> like it, it's it's crazy. You know, I met both of the, both of the guys in person, shook their hand, had a conversation. They're both talented, you know. But dang. I don't know what's going on. I still have to do some research, but I just listened to it. It's crazy, man. Yeah. Whew. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Welcome back to the vlogs. Do you want to go get candy from there? No. Are you sure? Are you sure? You don't want to go get candy from there? <laughs> you don't want to go get candy from there? No? Come here. Oh, look, 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 look. They're back. You don't want to go get candy? Not over there? <laughs> What's up you guys? Um <laughs> I did my research. Um I know it's taken me a while to do this because I lost some vlog footage. Um but um I did my research and I read what was said on Twitter and why snack Posted what he posted. Then I heard the Matt Brenver this. Then I heard the Mad Child reply. Um, heard the Mad Child response to Snack the Ripper. Um, it's crazy. But um, oh, then I heard the Train Nice one um today as well as uh, the new. Um, new track, um, Child Abuse by Snack the Ripper. And everybody's just going ham on this, man. I, I think it's crazy. It's entertaining, but it's crazy. I have, you know, res a lot of respect for Backspore and a lot of respect for Stomp Down Killers. Um, you know, I talked to both of these guys in person, which was pretty cool. You know, an opportunity to open for Mad Child and an opportunity to open for Snack the Ripper. And... I thought it was pretty amazing because I even got to talk, you know, talk to my child, shook my hand, told me to keep doing what I'm doing, and that, that was it. And, you know, he, he pretty much, you know, said, do my own thing and don't let anybody, you know, that type of stuff. And, you know, I had a conversation with Snack the Ripper when he came to the NAMO, and I, I thought that was pretty neat. <laughs> You know, he's he's a really chill dude. He's a cool guy. Um, it's pretty pretty cool to, you know, have a conversation with him. I, <laughs> he told me that he was late because he had to pick up Evil from the ferry. You know, it's, it's the island. You know, everybody's, everybody's going to be late because of the BC ferries, man. Um... Yeah, man, I, sh you know, shook both of these guys' hands, and I thought it was crazy to actually see these guys go at each other, but, you know, it is what it is, man, I have friends who represent Backswar, I have friends who represent Stomp Down Killers, and, you know, it's, you know, I don't have, I'm not picking sides like everybody else is doing, you know, it's, you know, it's beef between these guys. And, you know, I the new addiction is the new addiction. I have lots of respect, you know, to everybody who's doing their thing. <laughs> I've I seen this post on Facebook. Um, you know, people, some people are being clowned, you know. You never clown anybody, man. You know, there was a point in time where, you know, I wanted to, have a change with my music career because I felt like nothing was working for me. I felt like I wasn't being heard that much, like that type of stuff. 
and I wanted to, you know, become a part of something different and never clown anybody because some of you, some of you have been in that spot too. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, don't clown anybody for wanting to have a change. Like, it's not, it's not something, you know, it's just, why clown on somebody once you've been in that spot as well? But, you know, the new addiction is always going to be the new addiction. I have nothing but, you know, respect for, you know, everybody. People who who put, you know, their heart and soul into, you know, to their career. People who put, you know, so much, you know, of themselves out there to actually make things happen. And I have, like, a lot of respect to the people who, you know, who supported the addiction, who who got us, you know, a lot of shows, and who actually, you know, really, really support it. You know. But I did my research, and I, you know, I heard it all. I heard the, you know, both of the snack, you know, diss tracks, and I heard the map. Uh, Matt Brevner diss track. I heard the Trey Nice diss track. You know, I even heard Matt Childs. Um, you know, everybody's going at it. All the tracks were, you know, they were fire. But like I said, man, it's it is what it is when it comes to hip hop. And it's you know it's crazy if if they're if they're gonna battle it out, man, they gotta go to Vancouver. You know, I'd go to Vancouver to see these two these two dudes battle it out. You know, the island, you know. I would take a ferry to go see it. I, you know, <laughs> I heard at the end of the diss, the, uh, the diss track, you know, all the money is going to a good charity. But, um, yeah, man, if these two dudes battle it out, it's got to be in Vancouver. That's, that's my, my opinion. Anyways, I... I think it would pretty it'd be pretty sick to see these two dudes go at it in you know in their own city. Um, but yeah, man, you know I released a new song today. I'll put the link in this the description. And yeah, man, I lost some vlog footage, so except the Halloween one, I didn't vlog much. You know, bringing my son out trick or treating because it was pouring rain. If you if you're living in Quisino. If you're watching this, you know it was pouring rain. And, yeah, my son got sick afterwards. Um, but he's he's getting there. He's getting better. But um, it's it's been a good, you know, it's been it's been good hearing some some local rappers going at it. And it, it's inspiring. It's <laughs> it's going to make you want to go in that mode where, dang, I want to make more music. You know, I shook both of these guys' hands, and I got to, you know, got to come, got to have, I can't even talk, I'm tired. I had to, you know, had a conversation with both of them, and I thought it was crazy when they seen it all go through the internet. As soon as I seen it on the internet, I was like, damn, you know, maybe somebody's trolling, maybe somebody's, you know, putting out a, a fake, fake song. You know, a lot of people post fake songs on, on the internet sometimes, and it's not really the artist who, who's, you know what I mean. But um, yeah, man, I did my research. I I don't have much right now, but it's crazy. Two Vancouver artists going at it. I'm from Nanaimo, BC, and. It's it's inspiring. It's entertaining, and I I see everybody you know taking it too far on the internet though. Um, you know, let these guys battle it out. You know, just because you're representing you know, Stomp Down Killers, just because you're representing Back Swore, it doesn't mean you know for you guys to go at it. Let these guys be. Let these guys you know deal with their stuff. Um. Yeah, man, hope everybody's safe. Hope nobody, you know, does anything crazy. 
you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of love from the new addiction, respect to everybody doing their thing. Um, but yeah, man, more music on the way. I released a new song today. Um, hopefully I have some new stuff put out for you guys when, when I go back home. So lots of love and respect. Please come back, you know, like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Yeah, man. Let's get it.